giving a $25 gift card. Like this video, or subscribe to the channel. That little Arctic mice, take a look. What do you want to kind of look like? Tap her nose real fast. Ooh, that is awesome. Today is the day. The day I feed my ball python. If you haven't seen my video from last week where I actually get the ball python, go watch that first, then come back to this video. Before we get into that, I'm giving a giveaway, I'm giving a $25 gift card to Cabela's. All you gotta do is like this video and go subscribe to the channel, that's it. Then I'm gonna pick someone and they're gonna win the gift card. So here's the tank right here. For those of y'all that have never seen it before, there she is. The ball python is currently in there. Before we get it out, I want to show y'all what we're feeding it. We're feeding it these little arctic mice here. So I need to actually pull one out and um, defrost it because they're frozen. So show y'all. This is what one little one looks like. So all I'm going to do is just put it under this little uh, lamp right here and let it defrost and then we'll feed our snake. Five minutes later. This is the first time um, that he or she is getting fed, so it's gonna, it's a first for me as well. There it is. Now it's only a couple weeks old. Ooh. Take a look. All right, so for feeding, we're gonna put it in this tub. Um, instead of actual feeding it in the cage, in the tank. And that is because um, this type of snake you can pick up and we don't want it to think that it's like a rat or some kind of food when we actually put our hands in to pick it up. So by putting it in the tub, um, he or she will associate the tub with feeding. Take a look. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Our mouse is de-thawed and we're ready to feed our snake. So we got our little tongs here so we don't get bit. And we're just gonna pinch this mouse towards the back of the body. Because you want that snake um, to eat the head of the mouse. So guys, this is what you want to kind of look like. Pinch the back of the mouse and we are ready to go. All right guys, here we go. Guys, she just wrecked it. She absolutely hammered it. She went to that ball, basically grabbed it around the neck to suffocate it. And uh, as you can see here, there's her head way in the back. She's got, she's got that thing clamped. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so they'll stay in this position between, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Then they'll slowly let loose. It's already starting to move. Um, let loose of their prey, and then they'll actually eat it. So we're just going to sit here, and we're just going to watch. This mouse, perfect, perfect size. Uh, and uh, the snake will have no problem digesting this mouse. Just check that out, guys. This is sick. Never seen anything like this. Look at that. Look at that mouse go right down. Look at that. You can see the mouse going down. 
That is crazy. See you guys, it's probably right there right now. My finger was. Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. That was definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. That was insane. Um, that snake swallowed it like a champ. No pun intended. Um, but So for y'all that don't know, after you feed a snake, you want to give it a good three to four days before you even try to pick it up and handle it. Uh, we're going to give this snake a good hour or two, maybe even three hours, before we even try to transport it back into its cage over there. But when we do it, we're going to be really, really careful, really cautious. Um, because you don't want that snake to basically throw up what it just ate. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it probably three or four hours, let it digest, and we're going to figure out some way to basically move it back to its tank um, without, without making it feel, you know, like it's got to throw up. So three or four hours. 2,000 years later. We gave it about two hours, a good solid two hours, and we're actually now just going to put it into the tank back where it belongs um, because the humidity is perfect in there, the temperature is perfect in there, and then we're just going to let either he or she, whatever it is, rest for the next three to four days before we can think about handling it. So that's what we're going to do right now. We did a perfect transfer and take a look. It is sitting pretty. Like I said, good idea to wait a good three to four days before trying to handle this snake, um, just so it digests its food properly and fully. Like I said at the beginning of this video, doing a gift card giveaway, all you gotta do is like this video and subscribe to the channel, um, and you have a chance to win the $25 gift card to Cabela's. So go do that right now. Also feel free to drop a comment down below um, to give me any advice. I'm always open to hear what y'all have to say. And uh, yeah, with that, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.